All right, I just want to say like this video and share it, and it's probably going to get deleted or removed because of what I'm going to be covering. So what do you think actually started all these wildfires? Do you think it actually was all these crazy people or an actual gender reveal party? I'm sure those were responsible for some of the fires, but not all of them. Well, let's talk about DEWS. That's right, D-E-W, Directed Energy Weapons, like lasers. I don't know if this is actually true or not, but apparently the DEWS are responsible for causing all the fires. Our near-peer rivals, China and Russia, seek to erode our long-standing dominance in air power through long-range fires, anti-axis aerial denial systems, and other asymmetric capabilities designed to counter our strengths. Apparently this was a laser that was caught on a, an actual satellite image. I have no idea, but you can actually see the beam going down to where it looks like it's actually starting a fire, which is actually really crazy. And if you actually watch closely in this video, you can see that there's actual points in the map where there's fires starting, like three points, and it looks like a magnifying glass starting. Like that's what it looks like to me. Real lasers, one of the key advantages that they provide is that they are invisible. You actually can't see them. You just see this damage suddenly starting to blow something up. Meanwhile, in space, Moscow and Beijing have turned a once peaceful arena into a warfighting domain. They have weaponized space through killer satellites, directed energy weapons. Coincidentally, China's been sending tons of satellites into space. They have weaponized space through killer satellites, directed energy weapons. As long as we have power, we have an unlimited magazine. And downrange, of course, having unlimited ammo can be a huge advantage. This is apparently a video of a directed energy weapon, being like a laser being used to start a fire. Second, it's silent. We don't give the enemy any advance warning that it's coming. And then the third one I wanted to touch on is that it travels at the speed of light. And more, in an effort to exploit our systems and chip away at our military advantage. Furthermore, our competitors and adversaries exploit cyberspace to undermine our security without confronting our conventional strengths. So a lot of people would probably just think this is a conspiracy and people are just crazy. But the thing is, is that the U.S. Pentagon actually released a statement stating that Russia and China are actually using satellites and weaponizing space to actually, you know, harm the U.S. and Canada by using lasers to start fires and stuff like that. And that's where watching that actually then makes me believe, OK, this is actually true and not just a conspiracy. And a lot of these other fires are probably start by these... Uh, dues uh, direct energy weapons caused either by Russia, China, or other countries. Our near-peer rivals, China and Russia, seek to erode our long-standing dominance in air power through long-range fires. I don't know, I just came across all these videos and I decided to put them together and share them with all of you. I really hope you enjoyed this video and the evidence. This is just really crazy. Uh, if this is actually true, which it probably is, and that means get ready to probably go to war. Um, I hate to say it, but that's the sad reality of it. I don't think, uh, you know, a country like America is going to let other countries deliberately cause fires or attack them by using other different means. And I thought space was supposed to be an off area zone to be weaponized. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Uh, I'm going to look deeper into this. Uh, if you come across any more information, let me know in the comments below. Please like this video, share it with everyone you know, because I know YouTube is going to censor it big time. And and slam the subscribe button for more thanks for watching everyone stay safe god bless you all and protect yourselves and your family and uh, yeah make sure to wear a mask as well because this wildfire smoke is also another means as a weapon uh, to attack and uh, basically harm and kill everybody uh, in the u.s and canada as well